So we are here to teach the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that they are God's chosen people. Right! That would Bring it out. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 33. Bring it out. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel uh -huh. and the children of Judah Come on. were oppressed together. We're what? We're, we're oppressed, oppressed together. together. And we are oppressed together. Hey, that's right. You have the Kingdom, then you have Northern Kingdom. Right. We are oppressed together in this right. captivity. That's right. That's right. All right, so bring that out, King. 56 and 7. Oh, God. 50 and 7. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50. Say verse 7. God. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, and verse 7. All that found them have devoured them. Uh -huh. And their adversaries, adversaries said, We offend not. Verse 17. Verse 17. God. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, and verse 17. Bring it out. Israel is a scattered sheep. What the Lord says. Israel, Israel is a scattered, scattered sheep. What the Lord says. Israel, Israel is a scattered, scattered sheep. sheep. The lions have driven him away. First, the king of Assyria have devoured him. And last, this Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, have broken his bones. That's it. So, hey, the so-called white man, he's broken our people's bones spiritually. Right, right. That's right. right. Physically and mentally, we know through slavery, we were oppressed. Right? We were whipped. You understand? The Lord is saying that Israel is a scattered sheep. That's right. We need a savior. Right? Give me Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. Right, we need a savior to redeem us from this captivity, and that man is Yahweh Shah. That's right. Hey, brother, you got a minute for the words of the Lord? You heard of the Israelites? Can I get one minute of your time, brother? Yeah, I went black on black, though, for real, though. You know what I mean? You went black on black? Yeah, yeah. What you mean? I went black on black, man. Yeah. I mean, I hey, brother. Black. Hey, brother. You got a minute for the words of the Lord? I went black people. That's good. That's a, that's a good thing, brother. But hey, check this out. You say you with your people, right? Now, we are here to teach our people that they are God's chosen people. And we actually showing our people love. Give me Leviticus 19 and 17. All right, check this out, check this out, brother. Uh, I, I ain't trying to love. I feel you come further. I'm, I'm giving these white people out here, look. This air is not a motherfucker. This one, I'm one, bro. Ah, man, listen, bro. Hey, check this out. I ain't gonna you I can't go call that business and all that. I'll double all that. Right. Yeah. But hey, brother, listen though. Hey, check the scripture out real quick. Bring that out. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Bring it out. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor uh -huh. and not suffer yeah. sin upon him. Hey, brother, you know what it means to rebuke thy neighbor? Yes, I do. What, 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 what does that I mean? Double R here. I want to put that thing to his head, though. Ah, brother, vengeance is of the Lord, brother. That's right. Bro. All right, right. but uh, what does it mean when it says rebuke thy neighbor? So what does it mean to rebuke? To correct. Right. So we are here to teach our people the law, statutes, and commandments. Right. We're out here to rebuke our people in love. Give me uh first John five three. You know what love is? Yes, I do. What is love, King? Okay, okay, that, that's part of it, okay. You wanna take another shot? That's how can do. Okay, I'm gonna put you on real quick, uh, bring that up. This is the book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. Bring it up. For this is the love of God. For what? For, For this, this is, is the, the love, love of God. God. That we keep and His commandments. That we what? That, that we, we keep, keep His commandments. That's the love of God, that we keep His commandments, come on. And His commandments are not grievous. Meaning His commandments are not hard to do. That makes sense? Yes, it does. Now, you heard of the Israelites? What all you know about the Israelites, brother? Give me the book of Exodus chapter 1 and verse 11. Yeah, I'm listening, I'm listening. Give me the book of Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 46. I'm listening. Okay, well, you know, we got a brother that I pray for you, but, you know, I want to show you something in the Bible, right? So bring it up. Exodus chapter 1 and verse 11. Therefore, they did set over them. Verse 13. Verse 13. And the Egyptians 
make the children of Israel to serve with rigor. You know who the Egyptians are? Yeah. Who are they today? Mm -hmm. I don't, well, check this out. When you go into the Egyptologist history, you have to understand they did not serve the God of the Bible. Right? You said what? In the old, in the early life of them, they did not serve God as we know so can an Egyptian can, can an Egyptian repent? Yes, yes. Give me the book That's of what, Acts, chapter five and verse twenty-nine. Give me the book of Acts, chapter thirteen, right, and verse twenty-three. Now I'm gonna put you on because you said you know the Egyptians can uh, repent. But, you know, in order for them to repent, that means Christ will have to come and die on the cross for them, right? Now, we're going to go through scriptures and we're going to show you who repentance is for. Because we've been taught that, you know, repentance is for everybody. Acts chapter 5 and verse number 29. Bring it out. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God. Rather than men, the God of our fathers. And that hour is possessive. That word hour is, is not meaning everybody, right? Come on. Raised up Jesus, uh -huh. whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Right. Him hath God exalted. Him has what? Him yeah. hath God exalted Come on. with his right hand uh -huh. to be a prince. To be a what? To be a prince and a savior. What is Christ? And a savior. Read. For to give repentance. To give repentance. Come on. To Israel, to Israel, not the Egyptians. To Israel, not the Hamites. To Israel, to Israel. So we know that Christ came and died for the nation of Israel, and the Most High God set Christ up to give the, the, the Israelites a chance of repentance and from changing their ways. All right, bring that up. This is the Book of Acts, chapter thirteen and verse twenty-three. Bring it up. Of this man's seed, uh -huh. have God, according to His promise, raised it to Israel. A savior, Jesus. Uh -huh. Verse 24. When That's it. So he raised it to Israel. A savior, Christ. Hey, sister. Hey, sister. You got a minute for the words of the Lord? So we see here in these uh, these accounts of Acts that Christ came and died for the nation of Israel. That's why, you know, you kind of said the Egyptians can repent, you know, but that's not in the Bible. The children of Israel was given a chance at repentance. Now check this out. Cause you feel me? They taught us. They taught us that in church. But my question to you is, and my question to y'all, hey, I got a minute for the word of the Lord. Hey, we got reservation. What color is Christ, brother? Ooh. What color is Christ, brother? Black. Right. Now, now check this out. You got one? Can I get one minute of your time? I'm gonna put you on too, Elder. All right. Give me Revelation chapter one and verse thirteen. Bring it up. Revelation. Chapter 1 and verse 13. Yeah. Is this the true image of, of Christ? So. You think so? Okay. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Man, All right, brother. Bring it up. It says, And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, uh -huh. one like unto the Son of Man, uh -huh. clothed with a garment uh -huh. down to the foot, right. and girt about the patch with a golden girdle. Come on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it said Christ had woolly hair. Right, what you call that today, that'll be Negroid hair, right, nappy, right, come on. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire because he drank wine, but he drank it in moderation, right, come on. And his feet, and his what? And his feet, come on. Like unto fine brass. So when you look down at your feet, it's the same color as your skin. That's right. So it said Christ, hey, y'all got a minute for the words of the Lord? One minute. Is this the true image of Christ? No. Hey, give me one minute of your time, sister. Check this out. You baby, because we're here for y'all. So read that again. And his feet, like a divine brass. So it said Christ had, his feet was like a divine brass. The color of brass is brown. Right? Come on. As if they burn in a furnace. As if they what? As if they burn in a furnace. So it said Christ's feet was as if they burned into a furnace. That means Christ is a so-called black man with woolly hair and red eyes. Now, you know, who gave us this image? 
the white man. Right. Now, let me ask you a question, because I know you're probably busy. What is the whole duty? What, why do you think God have you on this earth for? Like, what's your purpose? To help others. Okay, I'm going to put you on. Give me uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. And it reads, it's a lot. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. Uh -huh. For this is the whole duty of man. You heard that? The whole duty of man and woman is to keep the commandments. Now, are y'all familiar with any of the commandments? Okay. Now, you, you, you came across the right path today, right? Because the Lord, you know, everything is of the Lord. Now, I'm going to show y'all who y'all is according to the Bible, right? But, you know, I'm going I'm to give you a commandment really quick. Give me uh, Leviticus 11 to 7. Give me John chapter 1 verse 47. But I want that John 1 47 because you have to know who you are, right? We have to know who we are as a people. Right, John. Bring it up. It's the book of St. John, chapter 1 and verse 47. Bring it up. Jesus, Jesus saw Nathaniel coming to him and save of him. Behold, an Israelite indeed. Behold, an Israelite indeed. And whom is in no guile? All right, so we are Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Right, we are God's chosen people. Y'all are princesses walking upon the face of the earth. That's right. You understand? And you have to repent and keep the commandments of the Lord. Now, I know y'all probably busy, but you know, I said I was going to give you a commandment. Check this out. Give me another one. Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. And the swine. And the swine. You know what swine is? Swine is pork. All right, come on. Though we divide the hook and be clothed for you, yet he chew it not to cut, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. So, you know, we're not, we ain't supposed to eat pork. Oh, you don't? I'll praise you. Now, all right, sister. Hey, you got Oh, yeah, I'll praise you. Come on. Okay, Elder. So, we got some water, brothers. Con, your, your, uh, Yaquo can help you out. The Elder Yaquo. Huh, so all praises, man. Our people waking up in the last days, man. That's right. All praises. Call a lot of your by to me outside. All right. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Said it like six oh. times. Okay. So, so give me, yeah. Hey, give me the book of Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 32 to verse 33. But you can start at 33 and 32. Right? Give me the book of Revelations. Chapter uh, 18 and verse 21. All right? So we out here teaching our people the Bible. You know, they have to repent, keep the commandments, right? Because salvation is near. Right? We're on our uh, upcoming of the return of Mashiach Yahweh Shah, and we're trying to bid our people to the marriage, right? Because we care about you. We care about your soul. We want to see you, you understand, in the chariots. We want to see you, you understand, make it have everlasting life. Right? So uh, bring it up. Ezekiel! Chapter 33 and verse 32. Bring it up. And it reads, And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song Come on. Of, so look, of one that has a pleasant voice and can play well on the instrument. Uh -huh. For they hear thy words, but they do not, so look, but they do them not. Right. Read. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet, that a what? That a prophet, that a what? That a prophet has been among them. Right, and when all hell break loose, our people going to know, dang, there were those prophets on the streets. Right. In front of views, bars, and grills, teaching the truth. Right, when famine come, all right, uh, you take it easy. Right, when famine come, our people, they going to know that they was in the midst of the prophets. Right, the servants of the Lord. Right. So bring it up. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone, like a great millstone, uh -huh. and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence uh -huh. shall the great city Babylon be thrown down. That place is going to get destroyed. That's so. right! You know, these, these police officers, they ain't going to be standing on the block when all hell break loose. Right. right? Right? Let's just be real. When famine come, and when things really hit the fan, you know, hey, this government going to shut down. Right, right. All right, hey brother, hey brother that's walking across the street. Right. 
Brother! Air Force One! Brother with the Air Force One! I'll give one minute of your time, King. Just one minute, brother. One minute! Just one minute. One minute. One, one minute. We're here for you, brother, for real. We're here for you. We do right with 76. I'll be quick. Hey, check this out, brother. I got a, I got a scripture for you for today. You know, I know you're probably busy, but bring it up. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it up. For thou art in holy people uh -huh. unto the Lord thy God. God said the Israelites are holy. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Uh -huh. Above all people. What is this king? Above, Above all people. people. And brother, the Lord said that you are. See that? Man, we got work to do, man. Give me uh, Romans 10 and 21. We got work to do as a nation, man. <laughs> Let it just kind of, you know, turn his back. That's disrespectful. Come on, bring it out. It's the book of Romans, chapter 10, and verse 21. Bring it out. For Israel, he saith, all day long I have stretched forth my hands. Hey, brother. Hey, brother with the uh, the ones, the red. Hey, brother, you got a minute for the words of the Lord? Brother, you got a minute for the words of the Lord? You heard an Israelite? Alright, brother. Amen. Hey. You missed a salvation. That's you, brother. Bring it up. Book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 21. Bring it up. But to Israel he saved all day long. I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. What the Lord say? A disobedient and gainsaying people. See how people disobedient. That's why we're strung out on drugs. That's right. That's why you 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 walk in the street mad. Because you don't want to keep the commandments. Right. And you get mad at your brother for teaching you the law, statutes, and commandments to save your life. Right. But you refuse. You reject that. Give me the book of Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 20. Bring it so up. That's the problem with our people. They are rebellious. They do not want to hear the prophets. Huh? They don't want to hear the words of the Lord. Huh? So right. That's why the Most High God has to destroy everything in this place. That's right. Everything America stands for, the Lord is going to bring it down to the ground. That's right. Bring it up. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 1. And verse 20. Bring it up. Wisdom cry up without. What the Lord say? Wisdom, wisdom cry up without. without. She uttered her voice in the streets. Verse 21. What the? She cries in the chief place of concord. Right? And we cried in the cities of Atlanta. That's right. We giving you the words of God. Right? Something that's going to benefit you in the future. Right? Come on. In the openings of the gates. In the city, she uttered her words saying, How long? He's simple ones. What the Lord say? How, how long? long? He's simple ones. Read. When he loves simplicity. So how long are you? How long are you going to continue to stay in sin? Right, right, Keep right. that, right? How long are you going to continue to smoke a blunt, weed, pop Molly, pop females? How long are you going to continue to be simple? Right. Right. Read. How long, you simple ones? Slug it. How long, you simple ones? When you love simplicity and the scorners delight. And they're scorning. Uh -huh. And fools hate knowledge. And what? And, and fools, fools hate knowledge. And what? And, and fools, fools hate knowledge. Read. Verse 23. Turn you at my reproof. What the Lord say? Turn, turn you, you at, at my, my reproof. reproof. Right? And the Lord is trying to turn people at the reproof, but they don't want the reproof. Right? They reject the, peru the right. reproof. Right? Right? Hey, brother, you got a minute for the words of the Lord? Can I get one minute of your time? One minute, brother. Oh, you're on the clock? Hey, but we Israelites, we God's chosen the people. You got to repent and keep the commandments. That's right. Right? Keep reading. Verse 23. Bring it up. Turn you at my reproof. Uh -huh. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. Uh -huh. I will make known my words unto you. Verse 24. Because I have called and ye refuse. And what? And ye refuse. And ye what? And ye refuse. Right? And our people refuse to hearken. That's right. Right? They shoved their shoulders saying, leave me alone. That's right. right? You're not going to be saying that when Christ come back. You understand? You're not going to tell our Lord and Savior, leave me alone. All right? Hey, brother, you got a minute for the words of the Lord? Hey, let me get one million time, though. One scripture. One Just minute, one scripture, one brother. Scripture. One scripture. One, one minute, scripture, King. Brother. Hey, you an Israelite. You God chose the people. Right. You got to repent keep the commandments. That's right. right? right. Hey, our people, they're not going to be able to say, leave me alone. Uh -huh. right. Christ going to look, what you say? What? Hey, it's going to be hands flying off. You understand? Right. Hey, brother, you, you believe in the Bible? You heard of the Israelites? What all you know, brother? You say you know enough? Hey, just give me one minute real quick, brother. Just one minute. You feel me? I'll come back later. All right. All right, come on. Verse 24. Bring it up. Because I have called and you refuse. Uh -huh. I have stretched out my hand 
and no man regarded. Uh -huh. Verse 25, but ye have set at naught all my counsel and with none of my reproof. Right. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will, I will also, also laugh, laugh at, at your calamity. calamity. Come on. I will mock when your fear coming. Right. Same way they've been mocking us and laughing at us. Right when we've been teaching on the law, statutes, and commandments, the most high is gonna reject them. Yeah, that's right. Right? Hey brother! 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 I get one minute of your time? Right. One minute, brother, just one minute. One minute, kid. One minute, brother. One minute, brother. Brother! Hey your brother! One minute. <laughs> you gotta yell. <laughs> All right, hey brother, you believe in the Bible? Can I get one minute of your time, brother? Just one minute. You read around the uh, seven to six. Now check this out. Y'all heard of the Israelites? Okay. What all you know about the Israelites, brothers? Okay. Uh, now let me ask you this. You feel me? Is this the true image of Christ? All right. It's not. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna read y'all a Bible verse, right? Give me Deuteronomy seven and six. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven and verse six. I know y'all hands polluted, but just check this out. For thou art an holy people uh -huh. unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So God said that the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they are a chosen people. They're special, right, unto him. Right, come on. Above all people. What the Lord say? Above, above all, all people. people. Right, so y'all brothers would be above all people. All right. You understand? When you go into the sports, you know, the ESPN, you know, we got LeBron James and Kyrie Irving, Michael Jordan, you understand? That can ball way better than the other nations. Are y'all listening? You sure? I am. All right. All right, brothers. All right, so the Lord said that, you know. I'm geeked up, bro. My bad, bro. I'm high, bro. I hear everything you're saying, bro. Okay, okay, bro. I'm listening to you. What a, you know. All right, understand. Give me um, give me the book of, of Acts chapter three verse nineteen. All right, give me the book of Jeremiah chapter fifty one and verse six. Cause y'all already know, so I'm gonna just now you know I'm gonna just I'm gonna just reprove y'all a little bit. All right, and this is out of love. Hey, brother, you got a minute for the words of the Lord? Hey, brother. Hey, brother. I get one minute of your time. Are you trying to entertain them? Hey, well, check this out though. You heard the Israelites? Yeah, I heard. Bro, you got the lion chain too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, let, me, let me see. Let me check that out real quick. <laughs> Come on. Bro. Come on, man. It's the book of Acts, chapter 3. Chapter 3, verse 19. And that's sad, man. Well, right. You know, you got brothers say, I want to entertain women. You know, that's, that's kind of off, man. Like, brother, you be a man, gird up your loins. All right. Come on. It's the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Right. And, and, and let's just be real. Right? When Christ come back, right. you know, you're not going to be able to say, I just want to entertain them. Christ not going to hear that. Uh, right. That's all. Right? Come on. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So y'all brothers got to repent and be converted. You have to put the cigarette down. Right. Put down the blunts. Put down the weed and change your ways. That's right. Right? And this is out of love. Come on. That your sins may be blotted out. Yeah, your what? That your, your sins, sins may be blotted, blotted out. out. And we're doing this out of love because we care for y'all. Right. You feel me? We want y'all sins to be blotted out. Right? Come on. When the times of refreshments shall come from the presence of the Lord. Right? When Christ come back, we want y'all to be saved. You understand? Y'all have a chance at salvation. Right? Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, elder. You got a minute for the words of the Lord up there. Right? But, you know, when Christ come back, we want y'all to be saved. So that's why we're doing these things. Give me uh, Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Read it out! I know it's kind of hard to think straight, but, you know, try to wrap your mind around these scriptures. Right, right, right. Right? And give me uh, 1 Corinthians. We got to try the spirit, man. All right. right? Give me uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. I want that 1 Corinthians 3, 16. All right? It's the book of... Give me some rock 20 and 1. It's the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Yeah. Know ye not the temple. Like know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Hey, brother, you got a minute for the word of the Lord? Okay, time. Yeah, yeah, read it. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 16. Bring it out. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Says, know ye not that you are the temple of God? Right? Y'all bodies are the temple of God. Right? Come on. 
And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? Uh huh. And, and the Spirit of God is trying to dwell within y'all. But y'all are resisting the, the Holy Ghost as of your father did. Well, you know, you're poisoned in that blunt, right. right? You're poisoned in that weed. So that's what you have to understand, right? Come on. Verse 17, if any man defile the temple of God. Uh -huh. If you defile your temple, right, which is your body. Hey, brother, you got a minute for the words of the Lord? Hey, brother, with the, uh, the proper pants. Can I get one minute of your time? Are you on a rush? Well, we Israelites, we God's servants of people. You got to repent, keep the commandments. That's right. All right, it's so like, where I was at yeah. If any man defile the temple of God. All right, if you defile your temple by smoking blunts and, and smoking weed, you understand? Crack, whatever you do, right? Getting drunk, right? Come on. Him shall God destroy. Him shall what? Him shall God destroy. What happens if you smoke weed? Him shall God destroy. Him shall God destroy. Him shall God destroy. Him shall God destroy. Read. The temple of God is holy. Right, and the temple of God is holy. So, you know, I'm going to just say this out of love, right? Give me Shabbat 20 and 1. Right, right, right. So, right, chapter 20 and verse 1. Bring it up. <coughs> There's a reproof that is not coming. Right, and this correction that's not coming, it's not going to sound good. Mm. It's not going to please your flesh because that's what our people want. Come on. Right, I'm going to tell you like a man, you brothers need to put that joint down, get your mind right, right? Get into the words of God, repent and keep the commandments. Right, right? Y'all above all people. We gods of this earth, gods don't carry themselves like this. Yeah. You understand? This is man to man talk. Bring it out. Right, Reed? Right, There's a reproof that is not coming. Again, some man holdeth his tongue, uh -huh. and he is wise. Uh -huh. It is much better to reprove. It is what? It, it is, is much better, better to reprove. This is love. Come on. That to be secret is like, that to be angry secret. Come on. And he that confesses, confesses his fault shall be preserved from hurt. Right, and y'all want to be preserved from hurt, you have to confess your faults unto the Lord. That's right. Right? Now, if you truly love the Most High God, right, and if you love Christ, you will put that cigarette down and you will stomp on it and, and toss it out. But that's if you love God. Do you love God, brothers? Yeah. Yes, sir. Fine. So you love God. All right. Do you still got it in your hand? Are oh, you done with it? All praise. Right, so you know that's 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 what we're talking about. Right, give me Psalms chapter one nineteen and verse fifty nine. Can I ask a question? What's good, brother? Do you feel like life is an old tomato? Life is an old tomato. All tomato. All tomato? Yeah, yeah like it's either this or that. Well, you know everything is of the Lord. Give me uh oh you already know Proverbs twenty. Oh God, yeah, yeah. It don't matter, brother. Proverbs 20, 24. Come on. Check this out. All right. Let me let me uh, let me show you something. Come on, come so, you know what you did was beautiful. You know you put it down, and that's how you show forth repentance. Come on, come on. You understand? And we just saying this because we love y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I had I had passion. I had passion about my life. Right. 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 Uh, give me Proverbs 20, 24, you hold that, and uh, I want you to meanwhile, you give me any kind of precepts here. Bring it up. Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 24. Bring it up. Man's goings are of the Lord. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? So it says man's goings are of the Lord. Right? The Lord, the Lord has y'all come up here, man. Right? right? To receive the correction. You know, to, to humble down, right, and to, and to hear the words that's going to change your life. I do understand that, bro. Right now, you know, I'm going to pull this piece up, right, Brandon? It's the book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. The book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Bring it out. Bring it out. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Right? So, Lord, this is the question. Who's going to rise up for God against the evildoers? Hey, brother. Hey, Elder, you got a minute for the words of the Lord? Can I get one minute at a time? You in a rush? Right, we in a rush. Hey, sister. Can I get in? 
Everybody been passing by, you feel me? You might as well, you know, change it up. Set that example. Right? Let them know, you know, I'm, I'm willing to stand up. That's right. Stand up. You know? You know. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Bring it out. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Huh? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Right, so, hey, who's going to stand up for God against the evildoers? Right. Against the workers of iniquity. Right? The Lord is calling y'all brothers to change y'all life, right? To be sober, right? And to come over here and learn who you are. Right? Learn how to change, right? Shoot for repentance. You understand? Y'all have a chance at that. So that's why, you know, we out here teaching our people because... I, I do appreciate y'all, brother. And it's, it's all love, brother. It's all love, you know. Yeah, hey, y'all got a minute for the words of the Lord? Can, one minute. can I get one minute? Right one minute. You said okay, I'm, I'm hungry. You hungry? Yeah. But check this out. These scriptures gonna get you full. Right. I'm listening to you while you talking. Alright. <laughs> so yeah, we basically, you know, just teaching our people what's required of them. Right? So uh keep reading. Yeah. Verse 17. Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. Right? So the Lord is calling y'all. Right, and he's gonna uh, be your help, right? If you stand up against the workers of iniquity, but that's if you choose to stand up. Right. Give me uh, Jeremiah eight and three. Right. Give me the book of Jeremiah chapter eight and verse three. It's the book of Jeremiah chapter eight and verse three. Bring it up. And death shall be chosen rather than life. The Lord say. And death, death shall be chosen, chosen right? rather than life. Right. Now, do you brothers want to live, or do you want to get burnt up when Christ comes back? Get up. You want to live? So you choose a life. Right? But the Lord, he said death is going to be chosen more than life. How do you obtain salvation? What do you have to do? What do y'all think y'all purpose is, is on earth? Uh, repent. You know, first of all, you, you got to praise the Lord for everything. You got to praise the Lord for everything. And he can do for us on a daily basis. Like, first of all, we can see, we can smell, we can taste, we can hear, you can God. Right, right. kind of different answer right but you know, we go off a description so everything the Lord say you have to understand it holds weight all right spin it up it's the book of first John chapter 3 verse 4 bring it out whosoever committed sin hey brother hey brother hey brother I can ask you one question hey my bad my bad bro like I can ask you one question brother I can ask you one question what is sin good question Something that you know is wrong. Hey, you gonna God. come back though? I'll come back. I gotta meet somebody. Alright, bet, bet. I got your paper. Alright, brother. Alright, so bring it up. It's the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Bring it out. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Right? For yeah. sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the breaking of the law of God. Right? That's what sin is. So, you know, uh, give me that in Acts 3 19. Acts chapter 3 and verse number 19. Bring it out. It says, repent, yea, therefore, uh -huh. and be converted, Come on. that your sins may be blotted out. That your what? That your sins may be blotted out. Right. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Right. So sin is the breaking of the law. But we're trying to get you to repent and come out of that sin. Right. So when the times of refreshing come from the presence of the Lord, you, the Lord can have mercy upon you. Right. Right. Give me uh, Romans chapter 11, verse 26. Right, Romans chapter 11, verse 26. Give me the book of Acts, chapter 26, and verse 6. Chapter 11, and verse 26. Bring it out. And so all Israel, so shall, what? And so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer. Right, so, you know, we want you to be saved. You understand? And that starts with you and your actions. And your, and your, and your, Alright, so bring it up. It's the book of Acts, chapter 26, verse 6. Bring it out. And now I stand and I am judged for the hope of the promise made of God unto our fathers. Verse 7. Unto which promise 
our 12 tribes initially serving God day and night. Right, serving God day and night. That's what you want to do. Right now, you know, with this being said, right, we know that the, uh, the duty of man is to keep the commandments. Are y'all familiar with any of the commandments of God? Okay, what all you know, King? Put me on. Uh, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not lie, thou shalt not put no other God before the Lord, or worship of any other being before right. God. Right. Um, Okay, that's a good answer. Use his name and you can't use his name in vain and worship, mm -hmm. worship the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Right. Now the Sabbath, you got that one correct, right? All of it was correct, but you know, we got to give you the main ones that, you know, that's, those are, of course, the main ones, but you have other laws that are found within this book. Oh, All right, so bring it up. Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. Bring it up. And the swine. Y'all know what swine is? All right, pig, pork, come on. Though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he too is not the cud. He is unclean to you. Uh -huh. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Ah, uh, of their flesh shall ye not eat. So we're not supposed to be in pork. Right, right. All right. Hey, brother, you, you heard of this scripture? You heard what it said? Yeah. What did it say, King? Right, right, right. Don't eat no pork. That's right, hey, bro. I'm crazy. Hey, check this out. Give me one minute of your time, though, brother. Just one minute, brother. Hey, you got a minute, though? Well, you Israelite, you got to repent, keep the commandments, right? So, That's right. So y'all better see that we're not supposed to eat pork. Right. This, this is a sidewalk, Jay. Right. I can't ride up without a sidewalk, bro. Hey, brother, brother. Hey, brother. See, you know, that's Jake, man. Jake going to do what he want regardless. <laughs> you know. But, uh, you feel me? So we're not supposed to eat pork. Do y'all think y'all can lay down pork for the Lord? Yeah. You good, brother? But yeah, like I, I would definitely lay down for like all ain't nothing, man. Pork. Even though, even though it's good, like I like a good pork chop every now and then. Like I used to not even eat pork rinds and shit like that, like pork sausage and shit like that. Right. I used to not even eat that shit. Now check this out. I'm gonna put you on some more law statutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, this is this is to save your life, right? Now, uh, drop down to verse nine. Verse nine. Yeah. These shall you eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever hath fins and scales, in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. All right. So anything in the water that have fins and scales, we can eat. That's right. All right. But if it don't have fins and scales, we're not supposed to eat it. Now, you know, things that don't have fins and scales, you know, and first I wanted to go back to that uh, Leviticus 11 to 7. We can't eat pork, All right? Now we're going into the things that uh, involve the water, or include the water, All right? So, you know, we can't eat shrimp, crab, lobster, you know, brothers got any other, because, you know. Yeah, uh, oysters, mustard, uh, sushi, all that, vivid, crab, uh, uh, yeah. So these things, you know, they don't pertain uh, fins and scales. Now you can't eat regular fish, but you can't eat catfish. You feel me? Now, hold on, brother. Hey, family, y'all got a minute for the words of the Lord? I got one minute. Can I get one minute of y'all time? One minute. Just one, just the scripture for the day. Uh, I, I got you. All right, check this out. Deuteronomy seven and six. You feel me? Try to walk slow as possible, you feel me? Because we out here for y'all, you know. Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people. So y'all are above all people. Y'all are Israelites, and that's madness. That is madness. Oh. Alright, bro. Well, that makes sense so far. You know, you can't strip crap for a monster. Yeah. Right. Look like he's about ready to go. Is he good? You straight? You straight, brother? No, I like, I like this conversation, bro. You should be picking my mouth. Okay, I'll pray. See, that's what we're here for. We're we trying to get one sentence to repent. That's my, that's my, that's my, that's my homeboy.
Hey family, y'all got a minute? I get one minute of y'all time scripture for today. No, thank you, no, There's thank one you. scripture, brother. No, thank you. I'm here. But yeah, I'll listen to you, brother. You feel me? So now I'm gonna put you on to some more commandments. Give me uh numbers 1538. Right? Numbers out of 15 verse 38. Numbers. Oh. Numbers. Yeah. Book of numbers chapter 15. In verse 38. Now, this, yeah. is a, this is another law that we have to follow. And hey, you got right. I get one minute of your time. Just one minute. One minute, Speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and bid them that they make them fringes. Did they make them what? Make, make them, them fringes. fringes. Hey, brother, you know what fringes are? Fringes is what you see on the bottom of these brothers' shirts. All right? You know, we got black and white. Brother got gold. Brother got uh, white. Con. All right? So, you know, these are fringes. All right, Read. In the borders of their garments uh -huh. throughout their generations. Uh, I mean it forever. And then they put them put upon the fringe right. of the borders of a ribbon of blue. All right, so we put a, a border of blue. This is what you see, right? Everybody have a border of blue. That's right. right, and it's going to tell you why we're supposed to keep these things. That's right. Verse 39, and it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. Hey, y'all heard that? You know what these fringes are for? To remember the commandments of God. Hey, that's right. Right, the law, statutes, and commandments. And y'all Israelites, y'all God's chosen people. You feel me? Y'all gotta repent, keep the commandments. You know, Christ is black. The Most High God is black. Everything they taught us in Christianity was a lie. That's right. That's right. And we telling our people they had to come out of the ways of America. Right, right, right. Muslims. Well, you know, Muslims. I'm not, I'm not trying to get you to get started on that. Like, even though like that's a tricky ass like road to go down. Like, what do you think about people like worshiping Allah, although like that, like kind of another name for God? Well, you know, you have to understand, right? That you know, Muslim that and Muslim people, our people that are Muslims, that's a false religion. That's right. Right? You know, when you go into the history of Muslim, you know, this thing was forced upon us when we were slaves. Right? So you have to understand, you know. Plus, we have one God, and even, you know, when you go into certain surahs of the Quran, you know what the Quran is, right? It's what they read, right? Um, it even admits that, you know, we are the children of God, the children of Israel, right? And that they took the covenant from us. So, you know, that's how, that's what we really think about Muslims, it's a false religion that was given to us by our enemies. Yeah, they're a wild man. The Lord said Ishmael's a wild man. You know, so you have to understand these nations, they don't care about us. Right? But, uh, let me get my rapid precepts. Give me Psalm 35, verse 1. And, uh, we can just land there. So, but everything makes sense so far. I want to make sure you got it, though. Okay, so, you know, what do we have to keep at the, uh, what are these called? All crazy. What can we not eat? That's one. Fish, right? Now, one more question. My bad, no worries, okay? Now, this is the last one. So we got the fringes, we got the food, right? Who are we according to the Bible? That's right! That's right, that's right. Right? And, 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 hey, that's what we're about. That's what we're here for, brother. We want you over here. Say what? Yeah, Israelites are considered prophets. You know. Uh, give me Amos 2 and 11. But keep Psalm 35 on standby. You know, I just want to uh, pick all things. It's the book of Amos, chapter 2, and verse 11. Bring it up. And I upon a, like it. And I raise up of your sons. For profit, for, what? for, for profit, profit. and of your young men for Nazarites. Come on. It is not even thus, O ye children of Israel, save the Lord. The Lord. So Israel are considered prophets according to the Bible. That's right. All right. That makes sense. Now I'm gonna get my closing piece up and I'm gonna pass it to the next mighty brother. Okay. He's gonna edify you. So it's good. Now who are we according to the Bible? Right. right. What are these called? Right. What can we not eat? That's right! All praises. All praises. 
All right, so bring that out. So, chapter 35, in verse number one. Plead my cause. What the Lord say? Plead my cause. Plead. Oh, yeah, how? Uh -huh. With them that strive with me. Uh -huh. Fight against them that fight against me. Come on. Take hold of shield and buckler. Take hold of what? Take hold of shield and buckler. Read. And stand up for mine help. Uh-huh. Draw out also the spear. Uh-huh. And stop the way against them Come on. that persecute me. Uh-huh. Say to my soul, I am thy salvation. I am thy what? I am thy salvation. Read. Let them be confounded. Let them be what? Let them be confounded. All right, children. Jake. Oh, Always with Jake. Tell no, no, baby. So read that verse again. Let them be confounded uh -huh. and put to shame. And what? And put to shame. Right? And that's why we out here. So that we can put our enemies to shame. Wake our people up. Get them to repent. Right. And get you as a brother to come on this side and start coming. That's right. This love, brother. It's love. Oh, love. The Ezra right. will give all honor and glory to you. How about some of my shadow? Come on, 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 Come on,